So in this video, I wanted to go over uh, LVM in Linux. Um, a prerequisite, if LVM is not installed, you can install it. It's called LVM2. So if you're on a RHEL system, you can install LVM2. If you're on Ubuntu, apt-get install LVM2. Um, but LVM is a logical, it stands for logical volume management. It allows you to easily manage a disk space. You know, you can add more space, dynamically change space, migrate uh, file systems on the fly. Uh, it's easy abstraction. Uh, and in, for new users, it's a little daunting to grasp everything involved with LVM. You know, we've got a lot of definitions. We've got physical volumes, physical devices, volume groups, logical volumes. But once you break it down, in sort of a, a hierarchy tree, you know, you have a physical device, then a physical volume, then a volume group, and then logical volumes. It gets a little easier. So that's what I'm going to attempt uh, to do with this video here. So we have physical devices, such as hard drives, right? And I have uh, three here. I've got XVDA, XVDB, and XVDF. Now you can see the first two are partitioned, and the last one's not. I've just connected that device. And physical devices are things such as hard drives that we're used to storing data on. Um, so first we've got to uh, initialize it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, using Partered, and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll kind of get into LVM and we'll make a physical volume. So now that I've gone ahead and I have initialized my device here, XVDF, I've partitioned it into two partitions, XVDF1 and XVDF2, each at about 500 megabits in size, megabytes. Um, so now what do I do? All right, I plug my device in, I want to start using LVM. Well, first you need to define uh, devices as physical volumes, right? Because we've got physical volumes, which we add to a volume group. The volume group looks like a one device made up of all those physical volumes combined and then we create logical volumes in that volume group so let's create a, a physical volume first right so let's say uh, i want to make a physical volume i'm going to do pv create here and i need to define the device that i want uh, to make a physical volume out of and i'm going to define xvdf1 and I'm going to define XVDF2. So I'm going to turn both of these uh, into physical devices here, or physical volume, sorry. And you can see it says physical volume successfully created. If I wanted to see more detail about my physical volumes, I could do a PV display. And it shows me, um, you know, is a new physical volume of this size. And it'll give me my volume group name once I've assigned it to a volume group, right? So now I've got my physical volumes defined. I can now add those to a volume group. And a volume group is a collection of physical volumes represented as one whole, right? So to make a volume group, we're going to do VG create. And these commands are pretty similar. Uh, LV create, VG create, PV create. But I'm going to define uh, the volume group name that I want to use right after VG create, right? So we're going to do volume group one as the name, vol group one. And then I'm going to define the device is that I want to add to this volume group. So again, it's going to be X VDF one and device X VDF two. It says volume group one is successfully created. So I've now combined both of those physical volumes into one group. So if I do a VG volume group display, it tells me the, the status of my volume group. Um, you know, here's the size, which if you notice is the size of those two physical volumes that I put in this group combined. And that's what I mean by it's represented as one whole of all the physical volumes you put in the volume group. So now that volume group one is created, um, and we've looked at it. Uh, finally, we're gonna we're gonna create a logical volume. So to create a logical volume, we use the lv create command. And the lv create command is 
you know, you're gonna have to do a dash. You're gonna have to do at least some kind of option here. We're gonna do a dash n for name. What do I want to call this logical volume, right? We'll say LV01. And then we want to um, define the size, right? So if I do it dash capital L, I can find the size in bytes, uh, megabytes, gigabytes, right? But it can't be larger than the space uh, on the volume group. And the volume group needs to have that space already, right? So if obviously if, if I try to make this one gigabyte, it's not going to work because it's larger than the entire volume group. If the volume group was already using 500 megabytes and I tried to define it as 600 megabytes, obviously I don't have space left, so it won't let me do it either. So because I know I have this amount of free space here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's do 500 megabytes. Yeah, let's see. And then we'll, uh, then we need to define the volume group that we want to host uh, this logical volume, right? So I'm going to do uh, wall group one. And there you see it says logical volume uh, LV01 created. So now if I do an LV display, I can see my logical volumes. I see that Here's the path, it's in volume group one, LV01. The volume group belongs to um, the size of it, right? And so now that we've gone ahead and, you know, plug in our device, create our physical volumes, assign those physical volumes to a volume group, and then create a logical volume, the only thing left is to do what you would normally do, is you would uh, make make a file system here. So maybe do make, make fs-t, make it an XFS file system, dev, and you have to give the full path. So the path listed here, right? So vol one, lv zero one, uh, and we go ahead and made an XFS file system out of that. And then all we have to do after that is to mount it using the mount command. And we already know how to use the mount command, right? So if I go, let's go back to the root directory here. Let's just make a directory real quick. We'll call it uh, uh, temp here. Right, so we got the temp. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mount. Uh, and it's gonna be dev vol uh, group one, lv zero one, the full path, and mount it to temp. And it's mounted. So if I do this block here, um, you can now see uh, I have L volume group <clears throat> one with LV01 on it, and its mount point is temp. And that's just a quick overview uh, of, of how LVM works. Uh, you can get a lot more in depth with it. You can uh, migrate file systems around if you know if you've got to remove a device you can add more storage to a volume group dynamically and the key the key benefit of all this is dynamically and on the fly right you don't have to unmount anything and uh, unplug anything and reboot anything it just works and it's easy